This is it, girls. Junior year is ours. Um. I spy with my beautiful brown eyes none other than Tyler Cruz. Isn't that the senior? Point guard on the basketball team and quarterback of the football team. I mean, like, come on, Tori. <sighs> Isn't he dreamy? Girls, this is no longer our time to be on the sidelines. We're not sophomores anymore. We are upperclassmen and we are going to rule this school. Uh, okay. A new year is a new chance for new opportunities, including a new boyfriend. Oh, uh, Amara, when is it ever going to change with you? You've always been a little boy crazy. <laughs> what can I say? I can't help it. <laughs> Camila, Amara, I just want to say I love your outfits. I've seen those colors and bows in all the fashion magazines, but they're so expensive. Thank you so much. Yes, um, they are a little pricey, but as long as you look good, it's all worth it in the end. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you two are practically twinning. It's the cutest. I'm wearing hot pink, she's wearing petal pink, so. <gasps> oh, that's so pretty. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just <laughs> wearing my sweatshirt. Right, well, um, see you girls later. I just wanted to tell you how pretty you look today. <laughs> And those, Cami, are just the first of many compliments we are going to receive. Now, if you don't mind me, I got some business I need to take care of. Well, this should be interesting to watch. Tyler, hi! I'm sorry, do I know you? My name's Amara Willis. I am a fellow upperclassman, and I just know that you are very athletic and I think that's so attractive. Um, awesome? I mean, I don't know a lot about chemistry, but you and I equal a reaction. Oh, well, um, you know, I don't know a lot about chemistry either. But I do know that opposite poles of the magnet attract, so... Why am I feeling embarrassed for her? So man, how does it feel being a senior and all? It feels awesome, not gonna lie, but I am gonna miss this place. Cami has been studying extra hard to try to get into Harvard for law school. I, on the other paw, am just aiming for UCLA. Right, because UCLA is definitely easy to get into. Okay, you know what I mean, it's not Harvard hard. It's just super expensive. <laughs> like you could be models. You're that pretty. Uh, thank you. Well, it took a whole summer of pedicures, manicures, massages, salon visits. Like, it was just a whole ordeal. But, um, yeah, I guess it was worth it. That is so inspiring. Wow, you guys seem to be getting a lot of compliments today. Uh, yeah, I guess we are. I mean, I would have hoped so because, you know, we just came to school looking really good, so I sort of expected a lot of compliments. Right, I, um, bought a new sweater, so that's adorable. <gasps> oh, yeah. Okay, so, Cammie, over the summer, I know I already told you the story, but, like, at summer camp, I saw this guy, and he was, like, Brandon, right? And he was, like, really good looking. And then, like, I was, like, well, maybe I'm too good for him. And then, like, it was all weird, and then oh, summer camp was so much fun, and I, uh. Oh, yeah, how was summer camp? You both went to it, right? Yeah, we both did. It was a bummer you couldn't go, Tori. I know, well, Max and I, we both really wanted to go, but then... Obviously, we had to go to my grandma's. 
and then there were some financial problems in my family, so... That's a bummer. Maybe next year. It was literally so much fun. I can't believe you missed out. Oh man. Okay. So there was this other funny story when I was trying to get oh, well, shower. Remember that time when Stacy spilled ice cream all over your collar? And then we thought we were all going to get really mad, but then you didn't. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> oh, and then the night under the stars. Oh, that was so beautiful. Okay, I swear, Brandon touched my paw. And I was like, that came out of nowhere. But then I was like, you know, obviously I was too good for him. So I was like, Brandon, we can't be together anymore. Even though we were never really officially an item, but everyone I like think shipped us. Hey, Mom. Tori. Oh, sweetie, how was school? It was good. Oh, that's fantastic. How are Amara and Camila? Uh, they're both good. Uh, summer camp really affected them. Sort of changed them, but they're still my friends. Well, good for them. What's that popcorn on the counter for? Just making some snacks. Okay, well, I'm gonna head to my room. I have a few assignments. See you at dinner, Mom. <laughs> oh, hey, Tori. Oh, Cody, uh, that's a surprise. Max, you didn't tell me you were having a friend over. <laughs> just playing some video games. Right. Well, if you don't mind me, I'm just going to be um, going to my room to do homework. Uh, yeah. Yep, uh, Tori's awkward, just like always. Hey, Cam. Tori, hey. Uh, where's Amara? Yeah, and I was like, oh, that's no problem at all. I can totally take you on. Punch, punch, punch. He down. I want, you know, I'm not strong, you know. <laughs> well, that is so awesome. I know, I know, I got like a really good scholarship for college, you know. Well, that escalated quickly. You really think that they're gonna become a couple? I mean, when Amar really wants something, she gets it. Wait, Cammy, come over here. Uh, why? Tyler has this friend who, not gonna lie, is sort of cute, and I think you two would get along very well. Uh, not you trying to play matchmaker. No thanks. But Cammy, come on! I don't know. Come, come on, you're coming. No, no, no. Uh. Tyler, Drew, please meet my best friend in the whole wide world, Cammy. Oh, hey, you're, um, what's his name? Cody's sister? <laughs> yep, Cody's my brother. So, are you a senior or. I'm a junior. Cody's a senior. A one year age difference. Cool, well now that we know each other, um, Drew and Cammy, um, why don't you guys start talking? Uh, no thanks. I can't believe you made me late today. You're not even late, calm down, five minutes before the bell rings. You know, sometimes it's really hard being your twin. I mean, girls, why do you take so long to get ready in the morning? Jeez, ugh. Oh please, grow up, Maxwell. Don't use my full name at school. It makes me sound like I'm always in trouble. <sighs> There's no way Cammy's actually talking to them. Hey guys. Hey, this is Drew. Uh, hi. Sup? Okay, I thought jocks weren't your type. You're way more into the nerd guys. I know, I, I am. It's just Amara insisted and I had no choice, but he's sort of fun to talk to. A lot of interesting stories. <laughs> I know, I have like really high standards and everything, so. Oh, so I gotta show you these pictures on my phone from the last time I went bungee jumping. Oh, it was off a bridge, so fun. We should go sometime. Okay. One week into school, and my best friends are already googly eyes over some boys. Hey, Tori. Oh, uh, hi. Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. I just wanted to ask if Max was here today. 
He woke up with an upset stomach and I'm pretty sure it was just an excuse to get out of the Spanish test he had today. <laughs> okay, well, um, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, well. Wait, hold up. My little sister Camila is talking to, to Drew? And not the other Drew, but Drew Davis, the literally worst of the two Drews that I know. Yeah, she's been talking with him for a few days now. He's literally such a bad example, and he goes out to party almost every weekend. Yeah, and Amara is starstruck by Tyler Cruz. What is going on through their heads? I've been asking myself that too. They literally just keep talking to them. And all they ever talk about now is boys, and more boys, and more boys. <laughs> wow. A lot has changed since middle school. I'm gonna have to tell Cammy not to hang out with Drew anymore. He is a bad influence. Well, I should probably head to history. Have a good day. Yep, you too. Hey, Amara. <gasps> Cammy. I'm happy you could come over. So I was talking to Tyler and we came up with an idea that we are all going to have a double date. <clears throat> I'm sorry, what? Yeah, so like Tyler and I and then you and Drew. That's two and two, that's called a double date. Uh, I think I'll pass. I'm not really into Drew like that. I mean, he's fine to talk to, but like, you know, just not, you know, and Sounds like someone's a little nervous. Come on, Cammy. This is our big break, okay? Literally, uh, we are juniors now, and literally, these are seniors, and literally, that is so cool. So, like, I don't really see the issue here, but, like, it's totally gonna be awesome. It's this Saturday, 5 p.m. <sighs> but I- Come on. Live for once. I mean, <sighs> fine, I guess. Just, we shouldn't tell Tori, because- you know, she might feel left out. Right. No, yeah, I agree. Hey, guys. <laughs> Hi! Okay, um, I'm glad you all wanted to hang out today. It seems like we haven't really talked too much these last few weeks. <sighs> Finally feels like freshman year again. Just quality girl time. Right, yes. <laughs> Speaking of which, I thought it would be really fun if we did something this weekend. Like, we could go to the gardens and go on a hike, or we could go boating, kayaking, or we could go to the museum, or we could go to the library, or just even go to the cafe, or... <laughs> uh... You know, I was actually thinking maybe this Saturday. This Saturday, there's a concert in the park. You know, the park right next to the zoo, it's gonna be totally awesome, guys. We should totally go, it starts at six. Tori, that sounds like so much fun. Unfortunately, I already have plans. Tyler and I are going on a date that day. Oh, well, uh, that's okay. Um, good luck with that. Um, Cammy? Uh, I, um, I have to study for the SAT. That's right, yep, my parents are uh, really, uh, yeah. All right. Maybe some other time? Yeah, that's totally fine. Sorry, one second. Hello? Uh-huh, yeah, I'll come home right now. Sorry, I have to cut it short today. But we should totally go out to dinner sometime, or to a cafe, or do something fun, just like we used to. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Totally. Cool, see ya. That was so hard. I know, I hate lying to her, but sometimes it just has to be done to preserve the feelings. You're right.